Now, number four, number four says, find the mass in grams of two liters, 55 centimeter cube of water. So at first, trying to understand what is centimeter cube. We know that if I draw this type of cube, hello, in this cube, suppose length is one centimeter, breadth is one centimeter, and height is one centimeter, then volume will be length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height, that means one multiplied by one multiplied by one, that is one centimeter cube. Suppose this is a cube and its volume is one centimeter cube. And if I put some water here, then amount of water in this cube will be one gram. So we can write in this way. We know that one centimeter cube of water is one gram. One centimeter cube or cubic centimeter cube of water water is one gram is one gram so 55 centimeter cube of water will be of water will be 55 multiplied by one gram 55 gram okay now we have to find out the final mass so mass is equal to two liter two liters two liters 55 centimeter cube 55 centimeter cube of water of water. So 2 liter. 2 liter means to multiply by 1000 gram. 1 liter equal to 1000 gram. So 2 liter will be to multiply by 1000 gram. And 55 centimeter cube of water is 55 gram. So 2 multiplied by 1000 gram plus 55 gram. So 2000 plus 55 that is 2055 gram will be the final answer of number four. Now, number five. Number five says express in fraction in the lowest term. Very simple. Suppose 0 0.25. So, if we want to convert this decimal into fraction, then we have to divide this 25 by 100. Because after point two digit are there, so we have to divide this one by 100. Now, if we want to convert into lowest term, then we have to divide numerator and denominator by 25. 25 by 25, 25 for 100. So 1 by 4 will be the lowest term of this decimal number. Because we are converting this decimal into fraction, then fraction into lowest term. Now 0 0.35. So 0 0.35, that means we have to divide this 3 by 100. So now we have to convert it 35 by 100. We can divide these two numbers, that means numerator and denominator by 5. Why? Because if we look at the number in numerator and denominator, then you will see that units digit of that number is 5 or 0. That means both one can be divisible by 5. So 35 by 5, it will be 7. 100 by 5, it will be 20. Very simple. So 0 0.35 will be 7 by 20. Now 0 0.75. 0 0.75 that is, you know, that 75 by 100. 75 by 100. So we can divide this fraction by 25. Look, 75 by 25, that will be 3. 100 divided by 25, that will be 4. So 3 by 4 will be the final answer. 0 0.015, 0 0.015. So it will be 15 by after point three digit. So we'll divide this 15 by three zero. That is 1000. Now we're dividing this numerator and denominator both by five. Five to the 15 and five two hundred to 1000. So three by 200 will be the final answer. Now number six, number six is simplify the following. Very simple. 0 0.24 multiplied by 10. Then number 2 says 0 0.006 multiplied by 100. And number 3 says 3 says 21.04 multiplied by 1000. Okay, then how can we solve it? Look at this. 0 0.24 multiplied by 10. If we multiply any decimal number by 10, then we have to move this point on one digit right side, okay? But multiply by 100, two digit right side, because we have to count the zero only. Here, how many zero? Two zero. So we are moving this point, two digit right side. Here, three zero. So we have to move this point, three digit right side. But here, 
we have only two digits after point. So we have to give extra zero to make three digits. Okay. Then what will be the final answer? 0 0.24 multiplied by 10, it will be 2.4. Then 0 0.006 multiplied by 100 will be 0 0.6. And 21.040 multiplied by 1000 should be 21040. Very simple. Now, number seven. Number seven says simplify the column. Number one. 0 0.24 divided by 10. It will be better if we write all the problems. Then we can easily understand these problems. And number three, that will be 0 0.072 divided by 1000. Look, at, when we're doing the multiplication, we are moving the points one digit or two digit right side, right side. But when we divide, we have to move on left side, okay? So, divided by 10, how many zero are there? One zero. So, we have to move this point, one digit, left side. How many zero are there? Two zero. So, two digit, left side. But look at this, only one digit is given. So, we have to give extra zero here to make it possible. Now, divided by 1000, how many zero? Three zero. So, we have to move this point, three digit, left side. But we have only one digit. So another two digit will be replaced by zero. Okay. Now what will be the final answer? 0 0.24 divided by 10 will be 0 0.024. Very simple. 0 0.06.02 divided by 100, that will be 0 0.0602. And triple 0 0.072 divided by 1000 should be 0 0.000, then 0 0.072. Okay, and in this way we can easily complete number seven. Now number eight, express as decimal. Look, four divided by ten. Four divided by ten. What will it be? Simple. When we are dividing a number by ten, then we have to think about the zero. How many zero are there? One zero. So after point we have to give one digit. So one digit, and this digit will be replaced by this numerator. So, 0 0.4 will be the final answer. Okay. Now, 41 divided by 100. Look, after 1, 2 zero are there. So, we have to give 2 digits after point. And it will be replaced by numerator. So, 41. Simple. Now, 4, 1, 2 divided by 1000. How many zero are there? 3 zero. So, after point, 3 zero will be there. So, it will be replaced by numerator. So, 4, 1, 2. Okay, and now 21 divided by 1000. Look, here we have to divide this 21 by 1000. That means after point 3 is it. And it will be replaced by 21 from right side. So 2, 1. And we will see that one digit is missing. And this missing digit will be replaced by 0. So point zero to 1 will be the final answer. Now, number nine, look, here meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter is given. So, we can write this meter, meter, then decimeter, decimeter, then centimeter, and then millimeter. Okay. Look, here at first we have to write this so six meter, eight millimeter. Okay. And we have to separate this value from this number. So, next number is three meter. 5 decimeter, 6 centimeter, 7 millimeter. Look, now we have to subtract it. Look, we can separate minus 7, no problem. So we have to learn some decimeter from here. Okay, and we can easily say here we cannot subtract 5 from 3. So we have to take 1 meter from here. Okay, then what will be the final one? Look, here we can write in this one meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter, okay? Now, now look at this. To write it in a proper way, this 6 will be 5 because we have to subtract 1 meter from it and we add this 1 meter in decimeter. So, this 6 minus 1, that will be 5 and 1 meter, when 1 meter we are adding with 3, then one meter, we know that one meter equal to 10 decimeter. So, 
it will be 13 decimeter, okay, 13 decimeter. But we are subtracting one decimeter from here and we cannot write 13, we'll write 12, we'll write 12. Then we can write in this way. Then for after five, it will be 12. Then centimeter will be 10 centimeter because we are, we are taking one decimeter and this decimeter will be converted as 10 centimeter because we know that one decimeter equal to 10 centimeter and it is already given here. Then next value is three, five, six, seven. Now subtract. 8 minus 7, that will be 1. 10 minus 6, that will be 4. 12 minus 5, that will be 7. And 5 minus 3, that will be 2. Then what will be the final answer? Okay. We can write the final answer in this way. 2 meter, 7 decimeter, 4 centimeter, 1 millimeter. Here our answer is 2 meter, 7 decimeter, 4 centimeter, 1 millimeter. We have to convert it. How can we convert the meter is already there, so we don't need to touch it. Seven decimeter, then we have to divide seven by ten. Four centimeter. So if we convert centimeter into meter, then we have to divide this four by hundred. Then one millimeter, one by one thousand. Then what will you write? We'll write in this way two plus point seven plus point zero four plus point zero zero one. Okay. Now now write the final answer that will be 2.741 meter okay and that is the final solution of number nine now number 10 number 10 says find the area of a room four meter three decimeter long and three meter eight decimeter wide express your answer both in square meters and in square decimeter so how can you solve look we can solve it in a very simplest way. We know that area is equal to length multiplied by breadth. But we have to keep our answer in two ways, square meter and square decimeter. So at first, given, given length, length L equal to four meter, three decimeter. So, 4 meter, 3 decimeter. At first, 1, we know that 1 meter equal to 10 decimeter. So 4 multiplied by 10 plus 3. That is 40 plus 3, 43 decimeter. Okay? We're converting it into decimeter. And if we keep it in meter, then what will be the L? L will be, you know, that 4 meter, 3 decimeter. Then we have to divide this 3 by 10. Then it will be converted into meter because one meter equal to 10 decimeter. Then it will be 4.3 meter. Okay. So we get two value. Length, length, here yeah, length. We'll write length in two ways. Length equal to 43 decimeter or length equal to 4.3 meter. And width, 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 W equal to 3 meter 8 decimeter okay so one meter equal to 10 decimeter so three meter will be three multiplied by 10 plus 8 that is 30 plus 8 that is 38 decimeter 38 decimeter okay and if we want to keep it in meter then what will be the value the base equal to we know that three meter eight decimeter will be converted in this way look one meter equal to 10 decimeters, so we have to divide this 8 by 10. Then it will be converted into meter. So it will be 3.8 meter. So we are width will be 38 decimeter, or we can write width will be 3.8 meter. Now we have to express our answer both in square meter and in square decimeter. We know that area equal to length multiplied by breadth. Area equal to length multiplied by breadth of width. So 43 multiplied by 38. Then it will be converted into decimeter square. Okay. Or if we can write in this way also, area will be if we want to convert into meter square, then length multiplied by width, that is 4.3 multiplied by 3.8. 
Now multiply. Then we will get our final solution. So answer should be 1, 6, 3, 4 decimeters square. Here, at first we will write 1, 6, 3, 4. At the multiplication of decimal, we will think about the digit after point. After point, it has one digit, it has one digit. So at answer, we have to put a point before two digits. So 16.34 meters square will be the final answer of this problem. Okay. And in this way, we can easily solve this chapter. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Kiamani.